गाइस एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे आई एम हियर विद द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ माय अनफिनिश्ड ऑयल पेंटिंग एंड दैट्स दिस वन सो आई थिंक आई हैव अबैंडनड इट इनफ सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट इट अगेन एंड आई विल फिनिश इट टुडे इंशाल्लाह एंड हियर इज आवर सेटअप no matter how much you try you end up with this kind of setup because working on this big piece is not a piece of cake i'm using these brushes and i'm using a china plate as a palette because it really helps mary's oil colors these are the best i know some linseed oil and our beautiful canvas I really don't fear a blank canvas but this one scares me a lot I don't know why maybe I've stopped painting it that's why I'm scared that I'm not going to paint it good again but let's see so the thing is that we have a cup here and a wine glass I already decided their colors but because it was last year I don't know what i decided so i have to plan it again the whole painting i'll do something more here and i'll detail this one more i don't know what i'm going to paint in these places as no me i'll do something video is kind of rough because i'm not stressing or i'm not trying to make it aesthetic is open here we are we'll start with the background i'll do something about the background first and after that i'll make this area more beautiful i love linseed oil it makes everything better like water i'm sorry you guys but i have no idea about what i am doing but we'll do something you know we are we and we always do something something better something good i'm not crazy i just realized that i'm so dumb i should have completed the bouquet first and then the background now i'm going to complete the bouquet and then i'll paint the background this is very high so i'm going to place it down there now we can do good work now that it's down uh, let me just cry because i don't know what i'm going to do <laughs> uh one eternity later we're going to add more of these and some more of these if you know what i'm talking about which i don't think so you know <laughs> that is such a beautiful color don't let waste even a drop of it i'm so genius i love these uh yeah i just want to tell you that i love these so i'm going to make a lot of these and then i'll add little details <sighs> I'm not a oil painter. My forte is acrylics, but I'm always exploring new things and this is one of the <laughs> This looks so bad. <laughs> I should be crying right now. <sighs> Maybe I should. Nah. My tears are Yeah, I should cry. we have room that side let's come to this one uh i am sorry <clears throat> i was sick for like a week that's why my voice is still sick but here it goes that one is looking better right 
now that we have added enough of these that do something about these i know these are flowers and leaves but i have to do a very good editing of this vlog i'm talking shit and i am layering them again because i think the color has faded so it will help them to pop out of the ways sorry i am a very lame person or you are a lame listener sorry you guys i think we are going somewhere because it started looking good which i actually never imagined but yeah it's good add a little yellow on these i have a love hate relationship with oil colors because i love them but i don't like their late dry nature but i still love them some things are like that i'll edit this part out or maybe not time i when i was working on it the paint was still wet that's why it wasn't looking good now that it has dried i can do anything i want on it i can layer it i can add more things and yeah that's good looking like this which is much better than before now i'm going to redo the leaves and yeah it's going to be tough because i'm not going to leave the background as it is i'm going to add details and so many things so now we are going to do the leaves i've played songs in the background because it was getting so lame i'm just applying green right now because i'll retail it with a thin brush after that i just wanted to redo all of it but i can't so let's just do what we can as we are at it i made myself a good cup of ice latte we are working on the leaves and i've added a lot of more leaves i think i already planned on adding these but the painting was maybe wet that's why i didn't add more but yeah i am adding a lot of these the good thing is that i'm actually enjoying painting this because i was really bored of that style that all so it's good for art block and my mind too i sometimes get overwhelmed because i worked hard so this is a good exercise uh we talked about inspiration in the last video and uh, i'm going to tell you about a very good tiktoker artist tiktoker that i know her name is camellia creations and she creates bookcases and i really really love her and uh, some of these flowers are inspired by her uh, i think she's on instagram too if i find her id i'll tag her on my story i think that's enough of the leaves maybe i'll add more if i think now i'm going to add these i love these these little ones are inspired by her 
I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right. It's Camila, Camelia. But she's really great. <clears throat> I'll add a lot of these because these look really cute in this bouquet. If I tell you the truth, she inspired me to paint a bouquet. I've tried to paint something like this before, but it went to the drains. <laughs> So we are trying this again. Maybe this time we'll achieve our goal. A lot of you guys already know that I am not a realism artist. I do surreal things and this bouquet is one of that. I never wanted to paint it as a realistic bouquet. But I wanted to give it a little touch of realism. But with my traditional style. <sighs> Please do let me know if you want me to talk in urdu or english because i feel more comfortable while speaking english but your wish is my command i'm not kidding you guys but i'm so happy that i added these these are looking so good thank god now we're done with these i think I'll add some details. Details. I, I'm not going to over detail it. I'm just going to use a little white to give it a pop of color. I'm not going to overdo anything here. Just little, little details. We're officially done with the bouquet. I'm not going to do anything more. I'll just give some detail to the vase and then I'll do the background art. The background idea is that I am going to layer this color one more time and then I'll use brown to give shades in the background. That's the most I can do here. I'm literally so scared to do this. I'm going to add a little brown in the background and I don't know how, to, how it's going to look. Ah, here goes nothing. Bismillah. It's not looking that bad. Let me just... See? It's not looking bad. The flash is killing the buzz, but it's not looking bad. Now, we are going to do this. And we are going to do mm, fully brown. I don't know how to tell you this, but I'm genuinely happy. I never thought that it will look good. But I'm so happy that it is looking good. I've added little red in the brown to give it more shades because brown alone was looking really weird. So I've tried different colors here and this one is looking better. It's not dark and it's not light as well. I'll complete it and my back it hurts literally hurts the background is done almost and now i'm going to paint our beautiful cup it's going to be a white traditional cup and yeah the thing is guys i 
messed up the cup <laughs> yeah so i've turned it into a flower because you can turn every mess into a flower i'm going to do one yellow here and yeah and we're officially done i can't do anything more about it so let's just sign it i am going to put this here and here is the final painting uh it's looking good i'm happy i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and subscribe